Good morning. This is attorney Chris Marr. This is our Friday morning legal topic. And uh, today is Friday, February 18, 2022. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, <clears throat> we're without power, so I apologize that it's a little dark here. But um, the topic I want to talk about today is something that I see happen you know, over my many years of practicing. I see it happen quite a bit. People who <clears throat> plead guilty to things that they <clears throat> really didn't do or things that uh, are charges that are really defensible charges and <clears throat> people plead guilty to them because <clears throat> their friends tell them just go in and plead guilty or somebody else that they've spoken to um, says, oh, just go in and plead guilty and I'll speak to somebody on your behalf or some some words along those lines. But it's tough to watch that happen because when I see it happen and it's happened in a, in a situation where I was just involved in where a client of mine was charged with commission of a crime and his friends were telling him to just go in and plead guilty to it because he would just have to pay a fine and uh, he'd be on his way. But in his situation, he didn't do it and he really didn't do it. And it took some digging and some uh, discovery to find out he didn't do it. But uh, he had been walking on the side of the street and had been struck by a car and <clears throat> police and ambulance came and it resulted in him being charged with a crime. <laughs> the uh, uh, hospital chart revealed that he had suffered a significant head trauma um, and um, he uh, didn't prosecutor, they dismissed the charges on this guy's behalf. And uh, it, remind myself and speak to clients about all the time, which is that you don't realize can be things like uh, <clears throat> if you're not a citizen of this country, you can have significant immigration problems arise. Uh, <clears throat> when insurance companies go to insure insurance, 